Good evening, Craig. Evening, Howard. The unbeaten run continued on New Year's Day with Concord leaving it late to get their equaliser. 1 1, possibly the fair result on the balance of second half play. Should we have capitalised on our first half with another couple of goals? It was, yeah, it was a real, real, real tough one to take because, and I came away, you know, and you, you, know you do see things through rose tinted glasses at times, and I'm thinking, oh, we've been absolutely robbed here, you know, not, not by anything other than we've left a soft goal getting, going at the end, right in injury time. But when I, you know, watch the game back in it, and to be fair, they they fully deserved it. You know, I thought, like you said, on their second half performance, um, they had chances. And <clears throat> what really disappointed me was I thought we was in so much control the first half that um, <clears throat> you know we should have pushed on. We, for, for sure, we should have been uh, more than one goal to the good. But I was disappointed that the second half we've we've come in. I knew what. To expect, I knew they was going to come out and have a real good go at us because we'd been so dominant in the first half, and I was yeah, I was, I was disappointed that we we didn't up our game as well. That you know, that basically we we lost control of the game and we had we was in such control, and <clears throat> that led to them basically being camped in our half. Well, I thought we looked relatively comfortable. They had a couple of good chances they didn't take and. But to get so close at the end was was really gut wrenching, you know. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I mean, for two days, whenever I sat down, just sort of thinking about things, all I could see was that goal. <laughs> it just <laughs> it killed me. But yeah, you know, I mean, it kept the run going. You know, we're five unbeaten there. Um, I think it's in the last seven games, the only game we lost was the injury time defeat to, to Oxford. <coughs> Which was disappointing, you know. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're we're going in the right direction, and uh, you know, and obviously going ahead to a, a big game in the weekend with uh, with confidence. Another two managers relieved of their duties in the National League South this week. Have some of our competitors perhaps expected too much too soon, or would you expect more with some of the players they've had to work with and the budgets they've had? Well, you know, I don't, I don't really know the budgets they've got, um, but they, you know, two good guys, two really good guys, good managers, um, and it's not always the easiest. It's not always the easiest or best thing to do. But you, like I always think with with players, sometimes you know, and I'm sure I'll do it as a manager, uh, as a support when I'm watching the Arsenal and. Uh, you know, I'm sure supporters here. Oh, why are they doing this? Or why is he being left there? You you never really know what's going on behind the scenes. You never know. Um, there's always more to it, and, and no one knows the players like a manager, and no one perhaps knows a manager like like the the, the directors. But it's it's how it is. A, a lot of clubs now that they they seem to relieve managers sooner rather than later. You know, and. Um, Yes, yeah, so I, I feel I feel for the guys because two really good guys and two that put their heart and soul into the game, you know. And uh, yeah, it's always it's always a big shame when they go. Ah, thank you for your honesty, Craig. No. Um, moving on to this weekend. Yeah. We had a good competitive match early in the season with Dartford, our opponents at the weekend. Eventually going down two one, and probably they did deserve the win. They must be buzzing after two good holiday wins over Ebbsfleet. Do we pose more of a challenge to them this time round? It's a difficult one to say, really, because <clears throat> I mean I, I got asked a couple of weeks ago who's the best side we've played this year, and I thought it was Dartford. Um, <clears throat> and I was, you know, I actually came away that day. It was right early in the season, second or third game, was it? It was. And uh, <clears throat> and I actually thought we we done well, you know, particularly. The first 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and it was a really hot day, and they had a water break. I always remember that, and it it, it was perhaps like uh, Saturday in a way. That break really sort of killed us because we was well on top of that stage, but they they uh, con took control of the last part of the first half, and the second half came out, and I thought they were they were a terrific side, really good players, and went two 0 up. But I felt that we got a, a late goal. <coughs> And um, you know, really given problems. You know, and it, 
uh, you know, we looked like we could nick an equaliser, if anything, the longer mm. the game went on. But, you know, I couldn't argue they deserved to win. And <clears throat> we're, look, we're light years in front of what we were that day. And, and to be fair, they look like they've, they've improved massively. You know, I mean, the results over the weekend were fantastic. You know, and they've got a uh, terrific manager and, and, and team. So, and they're top of the table, they're riding high. They're, I mean, they've just beaten last two away games. They've beaten Haven and Ebbsfleet. So, you know, we, we're under no illusions it's going to be a really, really tough game for us. Your teams have always seemed to improve after the turn of the year, Craig. Last time we spoke, you were facing some difficult squad decisions. How are you and how's the squad shaping up for the second half of the season? Yeah, we're really pleased. We're, we're fortunate that <coughs> the four lads that are on loan that have all done exceptionally well for us. Uh, all extending their loans, uh, two of them to the end of the season, which is, is, is great news for us. Um, we look very, very settled now. We, we, I knew we had far, far too many players we used before Christmas, but that was mainly down to the, um, to the injuries we had. <clears throat> and, um, and the fact that you know, we was finding our feet in the division and also finding um, who was good enough. You know, because I don't, I'm, I'm not sure, but... Off the top of my head, I can't think of one player we've signed who, who was proven at step two. So, you know, it, it was a lot of the time hit or miss. But the boys, we've got, I think we're strong in every department now, you know. And, uh, and I do think now, you know, um, over the last 10 games perhaps, <clears throat> that, uh, that we look at a, a, a proper uh, step two side, which before, even though we was losing by the odd game goals to a number of teams, most of them the top end of the uh, table teams losing by the odd goal. And giving them all good games, I can't hand on heart said that, say that in any of those games we was better than the other team. I think that we're playing teams now and we, we, we look better than them, you know, and uh, and so, you know, it's, it, it, it does fill you with confidence. Um, you ask, you, you know, you don't know in the lap of the gods, hopefully we can stay injury free. The squad's not particularly big now. Um, so it's tight. Um, we've got competition for places in in every department, from the goalkeepers up to the strikers. So yeah, it's improving, you know. And as we go along, week by week, we are getting better because there's a lot of new lads that have come in that have hit the ground running, doing very well. But you'd like to think that as the season goes on, they'll get better and better as a unit. Um, so so yeah, we, we're optimistic about the second half. One, <coughs> one last one for you. How pleased have you been to be able to work with Tyrell Newton till the end of the season? <coughs> well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've said to people, um, he came in, played the friendly against Royston, and literally within five minutes I thought, he's a player this boy, and um, you know, he's everything I like in a player. He's high energy, he can play, he can pass, he receives a ball in tight areas, he's he drives forward with it, and you know he looks. He looks a really, really good player, and I, th I think it. You know, it's it's a great signing for us. Thanks very much for your time tonight, Craig. No worries. No worries.